So in this video, we'll just take a closer look at this PUE splitter from TP-Link. It's a rather old device and there are several videos of this on YouTube, but most of those videos are pretty old, so let's just do an update here. We'll just go through the hardware and also try to plug one of these in. So a PUE splitter is what the name applies, a splitter for a PUE signal. So you can plug it into a PUE switch. For my instance here, I want to plug in my smart hub devices. So my Philips Hue bridge, the bridge for my smart radiators, my surveillance cameras, and so on and so on. All of those require separate power supplies, but I do have a PUE switch and I can plug them directly into this one instead. One of the reasons why I want to get this one, not only because it's relatively cheap and also it is a name brand, TP-Link is a pretty well-known name, even though it's probably more related to like a lower budget devices. Still, it is a name brand, so they not just slapped their name on a the device. They probably spent a little bit of time actually designing this. But anyways, this is the TL-POE-10R and supports regular PUE, so 802.3AF, up to 100 meter PUE. And this one does have a switch, so you can power both 12 volt, 9 volt, and also 5 volt devices. One of the reasons why I wanted to get this one as well, because I do have a few 12 volt devices and 5 volt. And it is plug and play. Only downside though is you don't really get any adapters. So if you want to adapt this to like micro USB or USB type C, you kind of have to supply your own adapters, but it just uses a standard barrel plug. And I actually bought several of these, but of course in this video will just take a look at this one. So this is of course the box, comes in a relatively big box. Of course you can use it with any switch that supports PUE, it doesn't have to be a TP-Link switch or router for that matter. And you can see some of the functions here on the back. That's pretty much it, a lot of cardboard for such a little device. Let's just cut through the plastic and have a closer look. And opening it up here, you are met with more cardboard on the inside. This is also, like, like I said, a relatively old device, so it probably haven't repacked that. But definitely they could save a lot of cardboard doing so. Inside here we do get an installation guide. So this is both for the injector and the splitter. So it covers both of those devices, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You plug in one end to your PUE switch, the other end to the device you want to power using PUE. And of course you select if you want to use 12, 9 volt or 5 volt power. And in many different languages here as well. And you get another install guide. I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, it is a fold-out instruction. I think it's pretty much the exact same that kind of explain in here, but just a bigger image or folder here. Yeah, a little bit strange again, a little bit wasteful in paper in my opinion. Then we have this small PUE splitter here. Oh, actually it's a relatively big device compared to a lot of other splitters. You can get those with built-in LAN and also the cable you already need. But this one is a little bit bigger, but also have that function of being able to switch it between different voltages. Size-wise, we're looking at eight centimeters long, around five centimeters wide, and about two and a half centimeters thick. Relatively light as well, doesn't weigh much. Very plasticky, and I believe this is, of course, that nice high gloss plastic only be high gloss for like five minutes until it gets all scratched up. And I'll probably end up putting some labels on here, whatever kind of voltage I have on them, and just kind of set them up in a row where I have all of my smart devices connected. And let's just actually remove the plastic. A little bit closer look at the actual design here. But you have a TP Link logo up here, PUE splitter branding down there. And on the back side, we do have some information about the output. So at 12 volt, you can only supply up to 1 amp, so that's of course something you take a note of. I believe it's around 14 watt or 12 watt, correct me if I'm wrong. 9 volt, the same 1 amp, but 5 volt you can supply up to 2 amps there. So of course not something you should plug high demanding devices into, but for lower power devices that uses up to 2 amps at 5 volt will be fine. And in one end here, this is where you actually plug in the PUE data cable that also supplies the power, so power in. Also nicely labeled here beneath the actual plug. And next to that, that is the voltage selector out of the box. This one is set to 5 volt, but of course you want to use 9 volt, you put it in the middle there. If you want to use 12 volt, you put it all the way to the left. And then the other end here, we do have a power logo. So you know there is power going through. Of course we have LAN out, this is only for data. And we also have DC out. And this is one of the maybe a little bit annoyances with this specific device here. There's not really much included. You can see here, this is the only cabling you get included. So you get a 5.5 millimeter round plug, which have a 2.1 millimeter inner dimensions. So pretty standard plug size, but you could have some issues. For instance, my Philips Hue bridge, 
actually have a 2.5 millimeter inner plug so you have to adapt this cable to that i kind of like this setup because you can not only get a lot of adapters and cables on ebay aliexpress and so on but you can also actually just make your own cable if you have a little bit of soldering skills you can just make the cable length and the plugs you will like to use and i like this modular system of course you just plug one end in here and if you, your device only uses 5.5 millimeter you're good to go but like i said else you need to adapt it you can also get like usb a female adapters that adapt into the 5.5 millimeter plug so you can plug it in here and then you have a usb a female adapter connected and you can just plug in whatever cables you want to there that's also another way of doing it something i'll probably look into as well or you can also just get those small adapter plugs you can actually plug into the actual 5.5 millimeter plug but those plugs also tend to make it a lot longer so it could be a little bit issue with room if you don't have that much room for your devices it could actually cause some issues other than that you do get a relatively basic 5e cable so unshielded just cheap cable definitely will get you up and running but you still need a cable either to the device or from the device to actually supply power and all data as well to your devices but let's actually just try and plug it in and see what happens i suspect a little power led will go on so let's just try and plug this one in right now i do have a cable going here from my pue switch let me see if i can do this one-handed and i'm gonna use 12 volt for this test and let's just plug it in here just like so and yeah success you can see there power led is lighting or it actually is flashing i'm not really sure why it is flashing maybe i should have read the instructions but for this test here i just want to plug in this little lamp i have down here a little bit dusty lamp just to see if there's power actually going through and yeah you can see there's success it is now powering my little lamp here using poe I'll just turn the volume all the way down because yeah this lamp can actually suck a little bit of power and yeah, this PUE splitter is definitely not powerful enough for that but it definitely does work it does supply power that's definitely a success I will highly recommend this one here if you need a cheap PUE splitter that you can adapt to pretty much whatever you need but of course that's one downside you have to of course account for those adapters those also cost a little bit or the time and effort you need to put in to actually make some of those but of course i can link this down in the description below if you're interested and of course I'll link some adapters down below as well but that's pretty much all i had to show for this video here just a quick video of this poe splitter from tp link i hope to see you again in a future one until then take care